Hello everyone, Relkan here with another CBC game. As yesterday, yesterday we talked a little bit about skipping bane links. Today we're gonna talk about skipping roaches. Just um, some friendly banter with Byrader. I think I watched him on an A1 day. He's a grandmaster player on Europe. This game was played on Europe. And we're going to have a look at craziness that goes down here. He's going for a gasless opener. Quite greedy in my opinion. Um, for the quick two edges, I'm not sure. I'm actually curious on how he follows this all up. So we're going to have a look a little bit at his early game as well. He takes no gases by three minutes. Three minutes, ten, he takes double gas. Okay. On my side of things, I'm going for a standard hatch, uh, two hatches, and a baning nest. Of course, his third is a lot quicker than mine. He has a lot of queens. Smartly so. Goes for roaches, evolution chamber. He also skips the banelings, but he's not going for a roach attack like we did. Like we, uh, he's not going for a roach attack like our opponent did yesterday, but instead takes up to speed roaches and plays this out a little bit different. On my side of things, I went for a pretty quick lair. A lurker then is being built right now, and I'm preparing myself. To show this guy the strength of Ling Hydra Lurker in the CVC matchup. This is of course a very, very risky way to play. Because um, Ling Bane Ling and especially Roach Ling Bane Ling timings can be pretty hard to hold off. I have quite a few links, so I'm going for some run buys right now. Once my Lurker then is finished, I prepare to go for an attack. I noticed that he built the Spire, so I feel like it's time for me to attack him. And Lurkers in the CVC matchup are incredibly strong. The hard part is just to survive the Roach mid-game. Because a lot of players go for these Roach attacks. He um, kind of held off on them. So now I have to dodge his piles a little bit. Lose one or two Lurkers here and there. Take care of his Roach one as well, that's nice. As you can tell, I'm trying to dodge the piles as good as I can. Didn't really dodge all too well. Always eat a couple of piles here and there, I guess. Now he has to walk down the ramp to actually do deal damage to my lurkers. I still have a lot of Ling Hydra because I know that he's going for mutalisks. Follow it up with more Ling Flood. And this is a pretty strange game. I'm not sure if this strategy would actually work against other players as well. I will, um,. Uh, give this some more tries and report back with my results, but for now, I hope you enjoy this. Going for this, um, I'm pushing up onto him with my lurkers. The hydralisks do incredibly well with his mutalisks and he eventually just gets overrun by the Ling Hydra lurker composition. As you can tell here, incredibly, incredible amounts of damage being done. And that's it. If you want to check the exact build order or um, are interested in some more detailed things, the replay is in the description. I hope this um, short game, this short video showed you guys some nice CVC action on Galactic Process against Byrader. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.